Hi everyone, I'm Margarita Muradova, a personal stylist and fashion consultant from Kiev, Ukraine. And today we're going to continue the ever so popular and demanded series about finding your personal style. I feel like this is a very near and dear topic to my heart because this is so specifically something I've been developing with my clients during the whole time we've been working as a personal stylist, which is as of today, about like 10-ish, 11-ish years as of now, which sounds crazy because it doesn't even like feel that long. It doesn't even feel real. So discovering one's personal style is a series I decided to create on this channel specifically because I feel like there's not enough clarity in the whole internet fashion sphere about how to go through this process in a way that would not only help you kind of buy something you like or suit your body but also something that would connect the dots in terms of reflecting your personality working for your body body types and your proportions but also something that would work in perpetuity in your wardrobe that would maximize the capacity of your wardrobe so that you don't have to buy a lot of stuff but everything that you buy is an investment in terms of cost per wear but also the durability and workability within the capsule that you have in your wardrobe which is to say that today's specific segment is going to be we're going to be talking about body body's proportions your figure etc etc so just a small disclaimer if you do not feel comfortable about thinking about your body your proportions your specific parts of your body if this topic triggers you by all means click out of this video this is absolutely nothing personal i totally understand this and i will try my best to describe all of these things with the utmost tolerance and respect to our bodies because as women obviously we get so scrutinized about our bodies in the media etc and we get so in our head about our bodies as well and through working with my clients and mostly my clients are women although I do have men as my clients, most of them are women, I do know how much struggle women go through with body critique and self body critique, which is the worst part, honestly. And there's a lot of internalized kind of hate towards our bodies through looking at the social media, that everything's Photoshop, etc., etc. So I know this topic could definitely trigger some people. I understand that. And with that, with this disclaimer, let's proceed. The wait is over. The sign up for the annual most extensive fashion forecasting webinar called Trendbook 2024 is now open. An event that thousands of participants have already experienced. An event where in more than four hours and over 500 pages of reports, we delve into our details of the fashion industry's future of the next year. Trendbook is an absolute must-have for stylists, journalists, merchandisers, PR professionals, brand owners, and fashion enthusiasts. We will discuss prints, fabrics, colors, textures, all the fashion silhouettes for the next year for each and every fashion category, macro and micro trends in the fashion world. Also must-haves for the next year in terms of fashion on things that will go out of fashion for 2024. We will explore all the new and fresh styling methods as well as tricks and tips on how to make your outfit more interesting and current. You'll receive more than 30 complete outfit formulas for each and every season. All participants also receive an enormous Trendbook 2024 PDF document with more than 500 pages along with the webinars recording. Registration and all the webinar info is going to be via the link below. The necessity for this specific part of this whole series, and also, by the way, if you want to watch the whole series, they're going to be linked in the specific playlist on my channel here. And there's, I feel like, two maybe episodes already that are out about fighting your style, and I 
think that you need to go with this procedure specifically in the order that I give you in this episode. So you do not necessarily have to start with this one. You have to start with the first one and then go in the way it goes in the channel because there's some thought put into this process and the whole way. So we're going to talk about body and the reasoning behind talking about body, your figure, etc. is that it actually plays a big role in how things fit you, in how things work on your body in terms of proportions because anyone can say like oh so the basic wardrobe like 10 things that everyone has to have in the basic wardrobe and like black pants and the white t-shirt I don't know why I started to talk about in, in like an LA accent but what I'm saying is nobody specifies which type or which silhouette of a pant or a blouse or whatever you have to have or which works for your body or which is even worse someone saying you need to have an oversized blouse you need to have an, an a super oversized pants or on the opposite end of the spectrum a skinny pant but what if this specific type of a pant does not work for you and your body type and your proportions which is totally okay because i think all of us we have different proportions within our body specific silhouettes that work for us and do not work for us and it's totally okay to be kind of I would say more objective and look at yourself and have a moment to look at yourself and not be as personal as you usually are and what I mean by that not to look at yourself and feel like very emotional about talking about your body parts but actually be a bit reserved and standoffish and look at yourself just as like a body what is their proportions, what works for this body, what doesn't work for this body, which part of the body needs to be focused on, which part of the body needs some balancing out, etc, etc. So try to be as objective as you can possibly be within this topic because you do it once and then this whole thing, this whole realization analysis will serve you your whole life because you will definitely improve the silhouettes that you wear and the way they work and look on you, which is the best, honestly, because as I've said previously nobody says which type of a pant needs to be in your wardrobe so you're here like a basic t-shirt and then you go and buy a basic t-shirt just any basic white t-shirt that there's in the store but actually there's different types of t-shirts and silhouettes for these types of t-shirts there's different cuts and there's also different lengths and uh, sleeve lengths and silhouettes and also necklines boat neck v-neck etc etc and all of these things actually play out into your proportions and how things look or do not look good on you so the first thing that you need to do is obviously I wouldn't say identify your body type because in all actuality especially through working with a lot of people with a lot of different bodies what I've discovered is that yeah we do have specific tendencies and there's like body type basis but there's a lot of different like switching parts and gears into the body because you can put like five or ten women with pear-shaped body types into one room and all of these bodies will be totally different for some of them their torso is going to be prominently longer than their legs for some of them it's the opposite for some of them they have a very different kind of shape to their top and then their bottom and the difference between them some of them have kind of a bigger difference with their hips and then their waist and the waist is very small and the hips are so much bigger and for others it's not as prominent etc etc and obviously we're also talking about the weight distribution within those body types because it can be fuller there could be less of a muscle on you as well which also plays into how things look on you and which things look good and which things do not necessarily do that for you and for everyone so definitely try to identify your body type but this is not everything this is just the first step so the way you do this is you look at the outline of your body I suggest taking a photo of yourself or asking someone even better to take a photo of yourself but what's important is the way and the angle that you take so if you're doing it yourself you're doing like a mirror selfie what you need to do you need to position your phone not facing forward not leaning back but actually pretty straight and also the phone needs to be on the chest area level when you're taking a photo this is the best way to assess your proportions and not to distort them because otherwise if you're taking the photo too up 
up, your upper body is going to be looking so much bigger than the lower body, which is going to distort your proportion. It's not going to work for you. And in the same level, if you're taking a photo from below your like uh, waist area, etc., or even your chest area, what you end up with is a bigger bottom and then a smaller upper part of your body which is also disturbing your proportions and doesn't work for you so chest level and just a bit more distant from the mirror for a selfie and, and for someone who's taking the photo oh you ask them obviously not to tilt the photo but also to take a photo on your chest level not your head level not your hip level not the low to make your legs look longer but actually your chest level so if it's a tall person they need to scratch down a little bit just to make your proportions in the photo look as realistic as possible and do not pose on that photo, please. No legs up, legs down, tilting, whatever, whatever. The pose, I'll show it on the picture. It definitely kind of reminds me of like a model follows photo. So something that's very simple, standing straight. And also you need to be either in a body hugging like leggings shirt combo something that's very tight on the body so that you can see the proportions and the lines of the silhouette or you can be in a bikini you can be in an underwear this is just a photo for you it's not for a public domain so this is just something for you to assess your body's proportions this is the first thing that you do and also what i suggest doing is taking a photo of yourself from the side because that way you will be able to assess your proportions and the kind of the way the weight and proportions and volumes distribute in your body so for example you may say like I have like a bigger butt area but the hips are pretty narrow which is my body type my body type specification I have I'm like a very try I would say um, rectangular shaped pretty straight if you're looking at me like face up but when I'm turning to the side you would definitely see that I have a bigger kind of a more roundish butt area as opposed to some people but for some people they would have a wider hip from the front but if you turn them to the side you will see that their butt area pear area is not as voluminous and then you will for example I know that also the worst myth over here that could be is that you need to assess your body type by taking measurements which is an absolute no-no because me with my no hips but also a more voluminous booty could possibly have the same like centimeter slash inch measurements for hips as someone with a wider front frontal hip but then a smaller booty on the side but we're two absolutely different body types therefore the main thing that you need to look at when you're assessing someone's or your personal body type is how you look your silhouette at the front and what are the proportions what is the part of the body that attracts more attention or you look at first what is the proportion between your waist and then your hips and also your upper area under the bust area bust area and shoulders never forget the shoulders and you know the main like four-ish body types the pair the triangular the inverted triangle because the pair is the triangle basically the triangle the pair the rectangle the kind of apple shape or like a more voluminous shape and all of these I'll show them on the screen have their own specific specificities like proportions within those so for example a triangle shape which is also a pear shape they have a bigger hip area compared to their waist and the waist and the hip area the ratio is crazy most of the time their waist is very snatched at any weight actually and then their upper area which is under the bust and bust area is usually much smaller than the hip area or on the same level as their waist and their shoulders they can be kind of on the hip area but still kind of a bit narrower that's the main giveaway but also one more specific thing that this specific body type has usually is a disproportion where their torso is much longer or at least 
bit longer than their legs and this for example is like Kira Knightley and also Olivia Wilde those are the examples of this specific body type just for you to understand but also for different pairs someone will have a bigger disproportion someone will have a smaller disproportion some of the pairs will not have a disproportion at all and same goes for other body types so that's just the first step you need to look at your body's silhouette and try to match it with the silhouette that you see on your photo what will help is that you maybe print out the photo of yourself and literally trail down with like a pencil or a marker your silhouette and then draw straight lines down from your bust area and then down from your hips and down from your shoulders and down and try and see if your bust area goes narrower than the line of your hips or it goes in line with your hips or your hips go narrower than the upper part and this is the way you figure out your body type but this is just the first step so take a drink of something because we still have a lot of things to go through next part is you figured out your main like body type basis i would say but also then you need to write down some specific things about your body and i know this could be a very daunting task and not the most pleasant one so i suggest like kind of detaching yourself from your body as much as possible in this specific instance and what you need to write down is specifically each and everything that you feel like needs to be corrected or balanced out or kind of attracted attention to for example, you look and you see that your hips are bigger than your upper part, so you need to write down that you need to balance out your hips, but also you need to kind of balance out the upper part with wearing something more voluminous, etc, etc. You see that your torso is longer than your legs, and this is something that you write down, so therefore you know which tasks to work with what you need to do with the clothes that you buy and also which clothes to buy and how to style them because styling is absolutely everything same pair of jeans and like a t-shirt styled in different ways tucked not tucked with a belt no belt, belt longer shorter different silhouettes will work for different tasks and also different body types and different specific needs for these bodies and also this specific whole thing I explain in so much detail in our course which is called a style DNA on our educational fashion platform online fashion platform what is me and this one is going to be up this specific enrollment for this course is going to be up in 2024 so just letting you know if you're feeling like this is too much to do on your own this is too overwhelming there's too much I'm saying and you're very like distraught with all the knowledge i'm definitely guiding you through this whole process and you will be able to enroll in this specific course in the beginning of 2024 so just keep this in mind so the next thing that you need to do obviously you know your body type basis you know specific things that you need to kind of work around in your body so then you need to kind of assess which specific items fashion clothing items work for this task so which jeans fit you which pants fit you which tops fit you shirts each and every category go through each and every category of this whole list and make sure that these things work for you and the best way to do that not going too into like the whole depth of this and i'm going in depth in the course but not, not to make this too complicated for you the best way to go through this and to do this is actually to try things on different things sweaters jumpers pants jeans whatever whatever and note how you feel in them and the specific silhouette and write down how they work or do not work for you and this is the best empirical method of working out what works for your proportions and so on and so on and the most simplistic way to put it is that if you need to elongate something you need to kind of make the space for it you need to kind of create the a longer silhouette so there's a lot of like tips and tricks to create a longer silhouette to elongate the legs elongate the torso create a longer silhouette overall balance out the shoulders balance out the hips and let me know in the comments below if you would like me to create like a series of these specific correction balancing out videos so that i explain in detail what works for what how to do that, how to work with that, how to elongate the silhouette, how to work with a square shoulder, how to balance out a broader shoulder, etc. etc. And then the last step 
I hope you're like alive in there. <laughs> the last tip for this is you now have the whole like instruction manual of how you need to work around your clothes and your body how you need to make them work for you and then you take a good look at your closet and take out things mercilessly that do not work for your goals and your tasks so you may have blue jeans but those are not the blue jeans that you need maybe the silhouette is different maybe the fit is different maybe the size is not something that you need at the moment you look at the white t-shirt and for example you think that you have your white t-shirt but the white t-shirt that you have doesn't have the right neckline length material fit etc etc all of these things are very important and these things and these minuscule details are actually something that play a huge part in how you look and feel in your clothes so this is the last step of today's finding your style video this is something that's to do with your body type and how to work around your body type and next time we'll talk about the next topic and all of these videos together will create a huge but an interesting path to finding your own style so first of all let's breathe out all together and then let me know in the comments below first of all if everything I said today makes sense to you and maybe if you have any questions regarding specific today's topic let me know in the comments below and also obviously let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to create some videos about targeting your body's areas and how to balance them out like the shoulders the legs etc etc and uh yeah thank you for watching thank you for sticking with me through this whole educational series hope this was not too much of a crazy topic for you and uh yeah i'll see you in the next one bye